No, I'm really telling you. That's the way to go. Well, if given the choice between the two, of course. Okay, well, maybe I'm a little biased. I mean, I would kill a man for some chicken strips. It's really too bad that I don't stock any here, but... But yeah, for real, I'd go with that. Yeah. Hey. Look who's back. So tell me, babe, which door did you go through this time? Ah, uh, gotcha. Bath and Body Works. Excellent. Excellent choice. A little more interesting than Golf Galaxy, right? Yeah. Well, what brings you to the in-between today? Can I get you a drink? Vodka? Now remember, darling, all we really have is vodka. Only the best, of course. It's one of the perks of being a little refuge, a little bar in between all the worlds, all the realms, all the universes. You get your pick of the best drinks. You're no fun. Water? Again. Hmm. Coming right up. Give me but a moment. Let's see. That's cool. Okay. Right. One. Half empty or half full? Hmm. About to be empty, I hope. I don't keep much water on hand. No use for things like that. But I did make sure I was in stock, just in case you rolled around again. So what do we owe the pleasure today? You're looking for someone. Hmm. And is this just general curiosity? Is this a manhunt? You a bounty hunter? Who is looking for this individual again? Repeat that to me, just real slow. Hmm. The Bureau of the Occult? Well, my darling, I think you'd better finish up your drink and walk your happy little ass out of here. And I don't want to see you again. Hmm. No, I don't tend to give information to those that are outside of my causes. What's that? Is that a bribe? How much? into the tip jar. Good. Don't think anyone else saw. Fine. Suppose
suppose you're lucky I'm a being of my own self-interests. Who are you looking for? Leatris. Do you have just a little bit more context? I'm always filled to the brim here, so I've seen a lot of beings stroll through. You got a picture? Hmm. Okay. Leatris the elf. I'll have to think that about that for just a moment. I can try to... You know what? Let me ask someone real quick. Hey, stop it. Yes, darling. No, no, we're not starting that. I've got a question for you. In your particular escapades lately, have you happened to come across anyone by the name of Leatris? Possibly an elf? Eh? That one? Well, I'm not surprised you weren't able to catch that one. She's... way out of your leg. Thanks, darling. Just run along now. No, there's too much testosterone over here. Don't need that. Well, now I remember. Leatris, the absolute vision in black and blue. Yes, I think perhaps... Hmm, maybe a few nights ago I might have seen her. Ah, uh, right. Yes, the bribe was quite sufficient. Um, okay, so... <sighs> Leatris. Yeah, she has quite long ears, straight, dark, thick black hair, it's mostly dark blue mottled with sort of a flesh tone. I haven't seen any suspicious behavior out of her. I don't believe she mostly just mills about. She has been meeting up with a few people that I think are wanted by your particular organization. But other than that, I haven't seen anything odd. But she generally comes here once or twice a week. Mm. I suppose on your timeline, it might be Tuesday nights and maybe sometimes Thursday nights, maybe afternoons. Usually more in the night range. I don't know what realm she's from, so I couldn't pinpoint that a little further for you. I've seen her somewhat regularly. Now, as I've given you this information, is she in any particular danger? Uh, you were just sent for the recon. Hmm. Well, that really begs the question on how you managed to end up in the Bureau of the Occult. Hmm. Because I quite mm, comedically recall the last time that I had seen you around, you waltzed into my bar from a golf galaxy. That doesn't seem like somebody that would end up getting recruited for a highly secretive and uh, full of douchebags sort of deal kind of organization. Oh, you're not sure either. Well, <sighs> really should pour myself a shot, but I've been trying to cut back a little bit. Don't let any of the other patrons hear you say that. Mm, I have a reputation to uphold. Well, 
now that you've got your information. Mm, one more thing. The Saturnalia Society. I think that perhaps you should stay away from that one. And no matter the bribe, I'm not going to give you any info on that one. It's too risky for you. You've only just been initiated, right? You have been initiated. Hmm. So you're not really even in, are you? Well, then doubly so. I'm not going to tell you about that one. You'll just have to find that one out for yourself, won't ya? And I won't have you harassing any of my lovely, lovely patrons. Now that you're done, anything else I can do for you? For you, leave me in peace. I suppose I could trade a little bit of gossip. However, none of this is to be used for the Bureau. I don't think that there's any reason that they would need to meddle in these affairs, but they meddle in a lot. And I've seen a lot of business fluctuate because of them. Not very happy about that. This is supposed to be a neutral zone. So, I'll remind you, we pride ourselves on neutrality here. Don't be bringing in violence. Don't be bringing in trouble. Well, if you look at your 10 o'clock in the boots, just quick glance, don't stare. If you look at your 10 o'clock in the boots, there's sort of a new being there. I believe they're a dwarf. I suppose they could be a gnome, but they're a little more stocky. Oh, I would say a dwarf. And I believe he introduced himself as Farin. Seems to be a little quiet, although I do catch little snippets of witty banter. Mostly to himself. So, I don't know what that's about. Whether they have some sort of ghost, invisible being, imagination, I don't know. But, they seem to just mostly keep to themselves. And if you look just down the bar, again, just be quick, be discreet. You look just down the bar, you'll see two people. And this is a little bit of a juicy smidge of gossip. So the very tall, very dark skinned one, that one is named Soren. Soren is a witch. And next to him is an excommunicated witch named Amaryllis. Mm -hmm. With the bright pink cotton candy hair, very curly, somewhat almond shaped eyes, right? Yes, she likes to mm, cater more towards Lolita fashion. At least whenever I see her, she usually is wearing puffy skirts. I did see her in that strawberry dress as well. It suited her well. So, uh, Amaryllis has been on a kill on sight order for the last couple hundred years. I think most of the covens have forgotten about it, but I don't know if the high coven. And I've spoken to her a few times. She's a little sarcastic, but she's always tipped well. 
Lately, I've seen her a lot more. Soren, on the other hand, is one of the most esteemed members of his local coven. And I've never seen him in here before, but his reputation precedes him. It's said that Soren can do this little tricky thing with his hands, if you know what I mean, and it kind of compels people, maybe, I don't know, they do what he wants, and I imagine that comes in quite handy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never really seen it before. Again, it's the first time he's been in here, but hear that little hand tricky thing, little finger motion, that can really upset the balance. But they look somewhat familiar with each other. They don't act like complete strangers, but Amaryllis is a little looser, and Soren is quite a bit tense. I imagine you have to be quite a bit tense to put up with most of the shit that the covens deal with. But you didn't hear that from me. So, of course we have the lovely Stavin, the Casanova, Don Juan of really any universe that ever existed. I honestly don't know how his dick don't fall off, but now that I think about it, I don't even know what's downstairs there. May have to find out for myself sometime. What? I'm an equal opportunity employer. If it moves, if it consents, if it's of legal age, if it applies, it is an opportunity. Oh, whatever. Leave it. <sighs> well, okay, so, back that away. You can probably catch a little bit of a better glimpse because it's Baxter. That's one of the rare humans, such as yourself. You know, kind of the blondish, sandy hair the lights keep bouncing off of. Yeah. That one, I believe, is a human named Cam Silver. I'm not sure what kind of name that is, if it's his real name or what it is. But I've seen him a couple of times. He doesn't drink, though, so I've never really interacted with him, only with patrons that come to me. He comes alone and just sits. So perhaps this is his place to think, although I don't know how one could think with the ambiance and the music and the lights. I don't. I don't know. the gist on that one. And then, let's see... Oh. I didn't notice that one. Okay, if you sneak a quick glance at your two clock, you'll see a very deep-skinned fellow. I think, I think that one is Jonathan St. James. He's been in a bit of trouble lately. Well, it's said that he wasn't necessarily excommunicated, but he's definitely in exile, that's for sure. That's another one of the witches. Witches, warlocks, one of Terms change as time changes. I've always just gone with which. It's one of the older ones. Uh -huh. He is a fine, fine man. 
I mean the big glasses. <sighs> mm, glasses. I've ever seen him in before. But that seems to look like. I don't know, it's hard to tell. I can give you an update on that one if you come back. Did I just. Mm. Let's make a little deal. Okay? If you don't particularly discuss this Bureau of the Occult thing, or you bring a very, very hefty bribe, or you partake in some of my incredible vodka, because why else would I have it if it's not incredible? You are more than welcome to come back. However, if you harass any of my patrons, if you ask too many questions, I'm gonna boot you out of here, and I have a way to keep your ass out. Okay? Okay. Right. I really must warn you. I don't know that you know what you're getting into right now. I know the Bureau seems like something fascinating and new and their talk of justice and keeping the peace and whatnot. Sometimes I feel it's just a front for them to do whatever they want. But you didn't hear from me. In hypothesis, on paper, they seem like a very interesting organization, but they're only really headed by humans. How the hell are you supposed to keep everybody in check? How the hell are you supposed to mediate between everyone if all you have is one particular group that doesn't even make up the majority? But they are on Earth's plane in that particular realm. I suppose they do outnumber supernatural beings, as far as I'm aware, in their own home. I'm just thinking that perhaps it's time for the rest of those beings to move to a place that's much more friendlier to them. But I hope that it changes for the better, and I hope that you bring something different to that organization. I hope that maybe you can help bring a little bit of light to it. That's all I have to say on it, and it looks like your wonder is just about finished. Well, I'll let you get back to where you came from, yeah? Well, now remember, my darling, if you ever want to come back, you're more than welcome to. Just remember, there's always a door. We'll see you later, and I imagine I'll see you quite soon. Goodbye now. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you want to. Comment if you'd like to. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. And if you want to catch me on some socials, special.